Hey there, this is Kevin Rowland with Inksoft. Wanted to make this quick video going over how to create gift cards that are purchasable on your storefront. It might be really helpful right now if people want to buy you know, an amount that they can use later or maybe gift it to somebody. This is going to be the video for you. Also, keep in mind you can use this for donations too. You would just simply follow the same process and use the verbiage of it being a donation instead of it being a gift certificate. All right, so here we are on the dashboard, and just to get things going, I'd like to go ahead and say that this is not a normal product. It's not something you get from the supplier feed. It's something that you are creating yourself, and you will do that by hovering over products here at the top, hovering over add new product, and then clicking on new product. It will ask for some basic information for what you're trying to do. Now, keep in mind you're building this from the ground up, so you have to supply all the info. For the name, go ahead and just put gift card, or really whatever verbiage you'd like, the supplier and the manufacturer, I would recommend you creating those custom yourself. You can do that under products, add new product, and supplier and manufacturer. Do that first so that when you come in here, you can come in and select the supplier and the manufacturer that makes sense. I don't think I have an Inksoft one, so I'll just go with alternative for now. So we're going to go with the SKU that makes the most sense, probably just gift card. You know, I already did one on this account, so I'm going to go ahead and do gift card test. Nothing special. And then a description, you know, talking about what the product is. Obviously, it's not a physical product. It's just going to be a voucher of some kind that they'll have emailed. So maybe just describe that in here with whatever verbiage you'd like to use. When you're done with that, hit the Save button up here. And this will bring you to a page that looks a lot like the Edit Product page because it practically is the same thing. The only difference is that it has no content, and you're going to have to go ahead and fill that in. All right, well, I went ahead and filled this all out to essentially what you're going to be going for. Uh, the first thing here on the general tab is that we have these sizes set up as the actual values that people will be purchasing. So I have the first size being $10, 20 30 Keep in mind it does need a weight. Down below, we want to set it to active. We want to assign it to the store you want to use it in, and then you'd like to put it into a category if possible. Now, categories are kind of done the same way as before. You go under products and product categories. You can create one for like gift cards or donations or have it be miscellaneous, whatever is best, you know most fitting. Down below, the most important part I'd say is having it be set to pre-decorated. That way people aren't going in trying to design it in your designer. It is simply just a flat rate product. Now, moving on, we have the colors and images. You can see that I went ahead and just made a very basic uh, picture. It says custom value gift card. It could also say donation. Uh, this could be obviously whatever you want as long as it's as close to 500 by 500 pixels as possible. You'd want to make it color name set to no color, have that be a primary color of white. You know, that's something that they have to choose because, of course, this platform is designated for apparel. It's, you know, as if we are selling apparel, uh, but it's not. It's going to be a gift card, a donation, what have you. Over here we have pricing, which is also very important. You can set the fixed price to really be whatever you want it to be. It doesn't matter because you'll be overriding it anyways. If you have the $10 size listed right here, you want to do the price override for it to be $10, 20 to 20, 30 to 30, and you can see how that reflects over here. Now, your customers will also be able to, do, to choose quantity, which means if they choose a quantity of five for the size 10, that's 50 bucks. And of course, they will see that during the checkout, they can put two and two together and figure that out. Once you have all that done, of course, you'll come up here to the top and hit the save button. And with all of that done, you will have something that looks like this in the store. This will be its own product separate from the clothing that you have in there. Customers will click on it. Like I was talking about a second ago, they'll, you know, you know, they won't have to change the color. They'll choose the size, though, which, of course, will be the amount of money that they are going to be spending, and then the quantity of that. So if I set it to 20, and then I gave it a value of 3, that would be $60. You could do this differently, though. You could have it just be one size and have it just be $10, and then have the quantity reflect that uh, different increments. It really, truly is up to how you want to set it up in that regard. Then the customers hit Add to Cart, and they will be purchasing just a value, so it could be a gift card, it could be a donation, it's up to you for how you configure it. And of course we want to be able to know what to do at the end once they've purchased their gift card. You would of course find out their information via the order manager. You would come up to orders, gift certificates. Under here you can do a select filter type of issue new gift certificate and hit apply. You will be faced with these options here. You'll simply go ahead and choose the store to which you want to do this for. 
This will give them the value in that store. It will be a credit. You'll do it for your company name, issue to their name, to their email address, the amount to which they had purchased, and a little brief message kind of describing what it's for and everything. Once you have all of that done, come up here to the top right and click Save. And that will send it out. You can see the issued number right there at the top. And of course, you can track that by going under Orders, Gift Certificate, and then just navigating the different menus. But that gets sent out to them. They then can use that in the store at a later date. They can gift it to somebody else. If it's a donation, of course, you wouldn't do this step of it. It would simply be them donating money to you and you being very appreciative of that. So yeah, that's really all there is to it for this. Of course, if you do have other questions, please make sure to get in contact with us and support. We're more than happy to help. Thank you very much.